This video describes a process by which a host A discovers the MAC address corresponding to the IP address of another host B. In order to deliver a packet to host B's hardware interface on an Ethernet link, references to this video can be found by following the link in the description. Hello guys, we'll talk about the traditional ARP or standard ARP process. A host represented by PCA is connected to a port on a switch in an attempt to send an IP packet to another host represented by PCB on an Ethernet link. PCA knows that PCB is reachable on the same link as itself based on its routing table. Assuming that the IP address of PCA and PCB are configured from the same network segment 192.168.10.0 with a slash 24 prefix length or a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. However, PCA at the moment does not know the specific Ethernet hardware address with which it can directly reach PCB. Before PCA sends data to PCB, it generates the application layer datagram and encapsulates it within a TCP or UDP header to form a TCP segment or UDP datagram depending on the requirements of that application. Then, it encapsulates this protocol data unit into an IP packet, inserting the source and destination IP addresses. Transmission over Ethernet requires PCA to know the MAC address of the destination hardware meant to receive the packet when it is encapsulated within an Ethernet frame. However, it does not have this information. ARP is triggered. The Ethernet module of PCA consults the ARP module to resolve PCB's IP address into its MAC address. PCA generates an ARP request message with the following information. Hardware type refers to the hardware technology used which is Ethernet in this case, represented with a value of 1. Protocol type refers to the upper layer protocol used, which is IP version 4 in this case, with a hexadecimal value of 0800. Hardware address length. The length of an Ethernet hardware address or MAC address is 48 bits, which is also 6 in bytes. Protocol address length refers to the length of an IP version 4 address, which is 32 bits, or 4 bytes. Upcode denotes the type of ARP message. An ARP request is identified with an upcode of 1, and an ARP reply message uses the upcode of 2. Sender's hardware address and sender's protocol address, respectively, are the MAC address and IP address of PCA, which are known since these are local parameters. The target hardware address is the unknown MAC address of PCB. This field is irrelevant and should be ignored, but is more commonly populated with an all zeros MAC address. The target protocol address is the IP address of PCB, which needs to be resolved. An Ethernet header is then attached with the MAC address of PCA's hardware interface as the source MAC address and broadcast address as the destination MAC address to ensure that the frame and its contents are flooded on the link. The ether type value indicates that an ARP packet is being encapsulated at the moment by the frame header and trailer. As a broadcast message, it is flooded and received by all hosts on the link. Processing of a received ARP request packet is as follows. All hosts verify that they speak the hardware type and protocol type in the ARP message. Then, any host that already has an entry for the IP address of the sender simply updates the mapping in its ARP table with the sender's hardware MAC address. Here, we make the assumption that all devices have no ARP records for PCA. For the final step, according to the packet reception rules defined in RFC 826, a host will only learn a new ARP mapping when the target protocol address in the ARP request message is its interface IP address. Meaning 
that all the other hosts will discard this ERP message and not learn the new mapping. Some ERP implementation may require all devices to learn the new mapping irrespective of the target protocol address in the received ERP message. This presentation, however, strictly follows the methods defined in RFC 826. All hosts discard this ERP message with the exception of PCB. PCB then adds the mapping for PCA in its ARP table and, on detecting that the opcode is 1, it generates an ARP reply packet by swapping hardware and protocol address field, inserting its MAC address in the sender's hardware address field, setting the opcode field to a value of 2, and sending this ARP reply message as a unicast message to PCA after encapsulating in an Ethernet frame. PCA can now retransmit the IP data packet to PCB after learning the ARP mapping of PCB's network interface. In the next video, we'll discuss the ARP cache table. Please share your thoughts on this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.